England are a hundred... Loader to John Goddard, faced yet again with an innings collapsing about his ears. He settles, those field will group themselves round. Loader comes in, bowls to him, bowls in the <laughs> Roping down the line of what was to him an outswinger. The stump leaning drunkenly back. West Indies are 142 for eight. And now indeed... Sonny Ramadan's batting capacity may be searched. 142 for eight, and the possibility, I think, is now not to be precluded that England may bat tonight and sample themselves the effect of a new ball in this light and in this atmosphere. The bowler's now very much on top. His two post bowlers have done a very fine job on a wicket that has never been really fast. And now, as Ramadin comes in, walking at a brisk military gait to be joined by Alexander, who must have a few butterflies under the bottom ring of his sweater, uh, the thought of his first test innings, the close fieldsmen group up. Gravney first, <coughs> Cowdery second, Shepherd third, Smith in the gully, Lock Lake slip. Truman backward short leg, Evans standing back. Seven of them in a half circle round the bat as Loder from the pavilion end comes in, bowls to Ramadin, and Ramadin skies it, and Truman's under it, and he's caught it just by the square leg umpire, and West Indies are 142 for nine. With Ramadin caught Truman, bold Loder swinging, naught 142 for nine, and <coughs> For Loader, a hat-trick is on. Uh, come in, if you will, Norman Yardley. Well, uh, there's no doubt about it. This, these two ha really have made this, uh, this new ball move about in this heavy atmosphere. It, it, the wickets had nothing to do uh, at all with any of the wickets that have fallen today. It, it is purely uh, the heavy atmosphere, and the ball has moved about uh, through the air. And now, of course, the excitement is uh, boiling up uh, everybody wondering whether Loder is going to get his hat-trick. I can't uh, quite remember. Can you, John, when the hat-trick was last done in the test match? I can't. No. I can't offhand. I... I know a man named Matthews did it in the triangular in 1912, <coughs> if that's any help to anyone, but I don't remember one since then. Now, it is the luckless Gilchrist to face Loder, but again, those seven close fieldsmen Grouped round the bat and three up out in the defensive positions and Loader from the pavilion end comes in. Now bowls to Gilchrist and he's bowling all over the place. It's a hat trick and Loader is jumping about like a monkey on a stick. And everybody coming up. Fred Truman, bless him, flung both arms round Loader and Locke coming up to pat him on the back. And now I'm afraid, Jack Price, the question is duly relevant. <laughs> when was a hat trick last done in a test match?